Transitions allow you to introduce movement and bring a flow to your app. Welcome to AppMonster, my name is Jonas and in this episode we're having a look at the transition tag in Bravo Studio. Things usually don't appear or disappear suddenly. What we know from nature is that movement creates a context, so is something moving towards me or is it moving away from me? This is the same that we want to achieve using transitions, so that we know this app screen is moving away from me so I can get back to it later. Motion can also be used to represent time. For example, when you have a page that is loading with a loading screen and you see a loading bar that gets larger while the page is loading. But movement can also be used to create interest. Imagine walking through the woods and seeing something moving. You're naturally interested and think, what is this? Is this a threat to me? But this interest in movement can be also adapted to apps. So we can see that a small indicator like a moving button can draw our attention to this button. But keep in mind that movement is not everything. A great quote by Harry Marx says, if you don't have a story, no amount of graphic trickery will make it interesting. Meaning that if your app is trash, no transition or animation could make it more appealing. Knowing all this theory about transitions, let's have a look at the example for this episode. So you can see we have three screens here and these screens are connected via the prototyping tool. Let's have a look at how these screens would look without transitions. So I've prepared this app here. You can see this is our screen one and when we click on these arrows, we can go through the different screens. We can go back of course. We have a little story here and we can see that this arm always indicates where we are at the moment. So our goal is to help the user understand that this is the middle screen and this screen has another screen on each side. As you can see without a transition we can't really tell what's happening here. This is where the magic of transitions comes in handy. To create a transition for a screen simply go to the top level frame of this screen and type in the transition tag. A top level frame is what you get when you click on frame here. Or for example if you just create a new frame this would be a top level frame and every frame you put inside of this top level frame would be a second level frame. Third level frame if it's inside of a container for example. So in our top level frame we have the transition tag here. We have multiple options for this transition tag. This is what the transition tag consists of. So as always we have these brackets and we have two options here. So one is the animation and one is the direction of the animation. So we have slide, move and push. Those are different animations. We're going to have a look at them in a bit. And this is, for example, we could have transition, slide, right. So this would mean we slide it to the right. To see how these transition animations look in action, there is a really great Figma file by the Bravo Studio team where we have all the transitions in one file so you can click through them and find the one that suits you best. Just open the link in the description and you'll find this file. Just click on here, duplicate it to your drafts so you could change things up and you have full control over it. Then in your files, you can see I now have a copy of this and this Figma the link to this Figma file will now import into Bravo Studio. Importing it into Bravo Studio leaves you with this file so we can see we have the transitions copy and now all we have left to do is open this up in Bravo Vision. Okay so you can see this is the app now and when we click on slide left you can see the slide animation. Slide right would be to the right. And let's have another example of move. Move up. You see this is a different animation. And push moves the complete screen. Instant and dissolve don't have the indicator of where to go. But you can just write instant or dissolve there. 
Okay, so I really like these push animations. So push left and push right would be perfect for example. Okay, so back in our Figma file, we can complete this transition tag. Let's choose the animation push with the indicator right because this is the left screen to this. So we want a push to the right side to make it look like this is one giant screen. Same thing for screen three, except this time we're using the left indicator. So here we go. And the second screen needs to be to the left as well. Let's test our finished product in Bravo Studio. Just update it here. And when it's finished loading, tap and hold to open this project menu and then update with Bravo. And you can see that we have this really smooth animation here. So now the user knows that these all belong together. Other examples for this can be found in the Plantagram app, which was my first video. Just check that out if you need other examples. I'll link the Figma file there as well. In that project, I used more than just this push. But I think for this project, that is completely fine. I can only encourage you to use the transition tags because as you have seen in the example, these can make the app feel much more alive. But also don't go too crazy with them because transitions can also be distracting. And if you have a lot of animation types combined, as we have seen here, if you start with a slide, then move on to a push, and then maybe use a move animation, the user will get confused. So always think about the context, where do you want to direct your user? And is this animation really helpful? Because that is what the transition is about being helpful to the user, not just making anything fancy. This has been the transition tag video. As always, you can find the Figma file below to maybe duplicate this for your own. What do you think of transitions? Are they helpful to the user or do you think they're just a waste of time? Let me know in the comments below and also don't forget to like this video so other people that are looking for help can also find it. If you want to get the most out of Bravo Studio, make sure to subscribe since I'll be releasing new tips and guides regularly. If you have any questions, visit the Bravo community on Spectrum or write a comment. Thank you for watching AppMonster and keep Bravo rising. Goodbye.